makes for a good piece of chocolate. Around the world, chocolate innovators are challenging the flavors and formats of this coveted treat. Monocle Films visited three chocolate shops in Cape Town, Tokyo, and Chicago, stirring up some tasty concoctions. From minimal to maximal, we meet the melters and sculptors reshaping our chocolate expectations. Located in Woodstock, one of Cape Town's most dynamic urban renewal ventures, Honest is a wonderfully whimsical combination of chocolate and art. This business come hobby pioneered by Anthony Gert and partner Michael de Klerk offers treats for customers with a sweet tooth and an eye for design. It's all in the name. Honest Chocolate is 100% pure raw chocolate made from ethically sourced cacao and organically grown nectar. So normal chocolate, just like uh, coffee, the beans are roasted and they're processed. But we use beans that are unroasted, so it basically retains a lot of the antioxidants and the minerals inside, so it's just a bit more nutritious. Behind the picture book setting of Anthony's chocolate shop is a humble studio with workers melting, sculpting and wrapping the decadent delights. Honest Chocolates values people over machines and follows traditional methods of handcrafting the bonbons, bars and spreads that make up the shop's array of guilt-free goodies. It's all about keeping things really handmade. We do everything by hand. From grinding the chocolates by hand to melting it by hand and the key thing is we temper by hand. We throw the chocolate on a granite slab to cool it down and we work with it on the slab by hand. And that's a very old school process and most companies uh, use machines for that, but we stick to the old school method. The honest philosophy reflects the slow food movement percolating in Cape Town. It also acts as a much valued employer. Being in South Africa, there's a, quite a high unemployment rate and for us, it just feels right to employ people rather than to get a machine in as far as we can. Setting themselves apart from the rest, Honest takes pleasure in giving customers a little something extra. The specially commissioned wrappers double up as collectible prints that are now as coveted as the chocolates inside. Since a lot of our friends were illustrators and artists, it was natural that we wanted to put artworks on the wrappers. First we think of a flavour, and then we think of a concept or an idea to go on the wrapper to represent the flavour, but not in a very obvious way, just something just offbeat. And it's just something fun and beautiful and quite different, quite compelling on the shelf. You know, you see it there and you know, what is this, an artwork or a chocolate? Minimal is a new addition to Tokyo's buoyant chocolate scene and true to its name, it focuses on a simple philosophy. えっと、there are eight flavors on offer, and Minimal fine tunes the length of roasting and grinding to adjust the bar's taste. This attention to detail extends from the natural ingredients all the way to the final form. え、モールドはですね、僕らがオリジナルでデザインをしました。表面の Downtown Chicago, the Pilsen neighborhood is known for its growing art scene. 
Uzma Sharif Chocolat was once a gallery, but now handcrafted chocolates, truffles and caramels are coveted by locals as tasty works of art. In the shop, we do everything by hand. I think when we work with our hands, you get to know the chocolate better. You get to know the way it feels, the way it looks, the right temperature in which it moves at and which is pre-crystallized at. I think folks love to come into the shop and smell the smell of caramel or melting chocolate. They look back and they see us working. They see their product that they're buying being created right in front of them. Uzma opened her shop in 2012 with a thoughtful menu of speciality chocolates that pay homage to her South Asian heritage. A third generation chocolatier, Uzma's grandfather was a prominent pastry chef in Pakistan. Having a culture that's so vibrant and lively and just colorful, uh, I thought of incorporating the flavors of our background into the chocolate. So we use a black salt that's from the Himalayan mountains. We use rose water. We use coriander, fresh coriander seeds that go um, that are roasted into our caramel. Though she was born into a family of confectioners, it wasn't until Uzma attended culinary school in Colorado that she decided to devote her career to chocolate. I really liked the way chocolate felt. I liked the way it looked. The versatility of chocolate. You can make a simple solid piece of bar chocolate and then you can make a giant showpiece from chocolate. It's one of the world's most beloved discoveries and to be able to work with that every single day and learn every single day from this prized fruit that used to be used as a currency, it's an amazing, amazing treat.